Alright. Final verdict between two big shooters this year. These two games. Final verdict. Hands down. All the bitching, all the all the stuff on the internet, all that can end here now. So we'll start off with um comparing the two. Um single player wise. They were both pretty decent. Just telling a story. Call of Duty was very probably take the cake on that one or whatever you, whatever, something like that, I don't know, just the top. I'm not saying this single player was bad. It was good gameplay, it was really fun, but the story I don't know, wasn't just didn't see it free up through up. It's probably because this isn't nearly really a, a story game campaign is fun but in this you end the story for the past two games so that's why well, it's a bit more better you know what in that in that way but both of these games had a uh, had an awesome single player so that's they're both pretty good um they both have a co-op mode so this has a co-op mode there's um Remember, maybe there's six, six or something missions, something like, whatever, and um, you can do them on co-op, um, online, and uh, you can you can play with, like a friend on Xbox Live, PlayStation, or you can um, or you can just search for, for a random person. Um, yeah, Battlefield Three is on two discs, so um, yeah, the multiplayer on Battlefield Three would be, um, yeah. I'll get to that in a sec. So, uh, I'm skipping ahead, fuck. Um, this has a co-op mode as well, as you probably know, Spec Ops. And it has the new survival mode, which I like, really like that mode. Um, Spec Ops is, um, same as always. I really haven't played it that much, but it's, from what i played, basically a similar thing. So that's cool. Um, I like Spec Ops. So... They both are pretty good in that regard. I like this a little bit more. The mission, the co-op missions. Both of them have pretty good co-op missions, like the spec cops, but you can play them solo on this one, which is cool. But I guess whatever. So, but they're both pretty good either way. So this has a bit more, bit more co-op, a lot more to do in via co-op. But so this one's better, a bit better co-op. Um, and the final bit, we'll get to the multi. But we'll go to the multiplayer. Final bit. This is better by far. Online, you know, always Battlefield War is is gonna be better now. Call of Duty's just fucked now online. Um, it's just it's just got a better online. You can, it just it's just better. Um, a bit more realistic and um, guns feel better. The online feels better. You just bit more. It's a bit more tactical. So, it's hard, I mean, I don't like to compare them because I've heard people say you don't compare them, but I will because of the bitching that has been on on the internet. The online on this is like Modern Warfare 2, but with a little bit more. Like, I'm not sure what Infinity Ward were thinking with this, with the online. I mean, I've played the Cool Confirmed mode. I don't mind that. It's okay online, maybe a little bit, but... For really getting into your online shooters, this is where it's at. Um, the multiplayer is pretty much fucked on this. Um, there's like when you come up to somebody, you got to try and shoot them, and then if they if they get the first shot in, then you're pretty much fucked. So yeah, if, for this game, I wouldn't buy this for the mul for the multiplayer unless you're a hardcore COD fan boy or whatever. I said fan boy. Um, if you're into the single players for the, for the past two games and you want to continue the story, I pick this up. And there's a good survival and that sort of thing. So overall, I'd say they're pretty good, but I don't know why people can had had the you nerve know, to compare these two. Well, like I just did, but why people were bitching about them? I mean, really, I know Call of Duty's getting the same old shit, but. As they, as the, as they, um, apart from the multiplayer, they're both a really good package. But 
multiplayer. Your battlefield is your multiplayer. For everything else, they're both awesome. But that's how it is. Just well, next year we'll get another game, and that's it. So thanks for watching this final verdict of the two games. Big first FPS of this year, so see you next time.